We continue to hear the disturbing statistics. American students are lagging behind most of the world in science and math. My next guest is offering a solution. He's harnessed the power of games and storytelling to inspire kids' curiosity and engagement to make math an adventure. Please welcome the CEO of Primal Math, Reed Frerichs. Reed. Thanks for being here. Raymond, thank you for having me. I want to start with the challenge that we're facing here. How does this new app get around the angst? Some kids, I mean, speaking from personal experience, I have heard the weeping in the other room at 9 o'clock at night when my 11-year-old's trying to solve the problem. It, 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 it carries a lot of anxiety and fear around math. How does this app get around that? I think what, what happens with this app is it gets kids out of their head. It's kind of like, as an actor, you know, um, it... it makes them focus in the moment and the present. And so it makes them the star of, of their story. And so they're playing the game, they're understanding it, they're making decisions, making choices. So huh. it empowers them to, to learn that way. Yeah, how is it, it, it's almost, it looks at times almost like Minecraft in the way that they can manipulate pieces and parts. Uh, what, what, does, what do those games, what are those games tapping into? that we need in this educational realm. What, is, tap have, what is tapping into, in, in our view, is, is, is curiosity. It's engaging that curiosity, and it gives kids, kids want to make decisions. They have a natural ability, especially in the K through third grade space, to, to solve patterns. You know, they want to recognize patterns and put things together in order. So it, it comes natural to them, and if we can show them through gameplay, it, it's, it's very attractive to them. Where did Primal Math originate? And tell me about this new game, Zombie fish bits. <laughs> yeah, zombies are, uh, are kind of a popular title right now in the yeah. movie world as well. And um, the app world. Yeah, you know, Raymond, it simply originated with just we, we couldn't find the games in the app store or anywhere that we wanted for our kids. And mm. so we simply decided to build the game that we couldn't find. And so mm. we, we knew that we wanted math with meaning, a very visual, conceptual, fundamental math. Sort uh, of like the Singapore method. Exactly. Which just uses graphs and, and uh, pictures. Very much so. Where their kids are building the problem and then solving it. So they're really understanding the spatial relationships to it all and how it all works. It also has a whimsical sense. I mean, it almost feels like a, a, a cartoon, I yes. mean, a Sunday morning cartoon. It moves along. Tell me about the creative team here, the people yeah. you brought, because it wasn't just uh, computer experts. You also had folks on the educational side that we, are pretty we, we did. We brought, uh, we have a, a very uh, uh, established learning specialist named Dr. Martin Fletcher, and, and Dr. Fletcher had a very successful clinic teaching kids who were coming in with anxiety or learning disabilities, and he was able to accelerate their learning uh, within like 40 hours. Wow. Um, two grade levels ahead at some point and a lot of it was just through gameplay and working with these sort of physical manipulatives and so that's what we wanted to engage in the game. What, what is the problem out there? Well before I get to that question tell me about the game itself and we're, we're looking at some video here. Uh, there's a lot of fish bouncing around and, and little blocks. T tell me what's happening. Yeah, so the, what we're focused on is a lot is uh, composing and decomposing quantities. So mm -hmm. what kids are doing is there are, there's, they're gaining meaning by seeing the quantities and then relating it to the symbol. So it's, they're putting it through this, uh, the uh, equal sign there and it goes into the sub and that's how they, they put the two together and connect the meaning. And begin to figure it out. Yeah. What, what is the challenge? What is the problem with the way schools are teaching math today? I think it's just an outdated uh, model. Uh, it's still, to me, built on the Industrial Revolution, and we're in a technology revolution. We need thinkers. We can't afford to have kids that, I mean, every kid out there uh, is unique and has independent thoughts, and I think right now the school system is is kind of crushing that creative thought process. It's, it's mm. teaching to the test too much. Yeah. And, you know, I think everybody sees what happens with Common Core and stuff, so. Yeah, no, very focused on the results and the, the standards. And th this does sort of break through that. And it, it, it seems to be responding to the marketplace, which yeah. is looking for problem solvers and people who can think creatively within this math sphere. Right, and, and even from the, on the side of the Common Core uh, advocates, uh, they really want to create uh, where kids where they can explain math and the conceptual side of it so Reed what is next what do you envision as the next step our next step is uh, we're working with the Boys and Girls Club so we are we would like to port this game that we have on the iPad and iPhone to Android so we can reach more kids uh, we're in the process of building a primal utility app which is is more of a workplace a sketch pad so again, you mentioned Minecraft and Legos and stuff where kids can build the problem very visually 
Wow. So they could use it really as a resource to solve, help solve some of the math problems that exist. I imagine w with homeschoolers, this would be a really um, attractive app. Absolutely. We're building our, our YouTube channel, which will have a lot of math instruction, animation, so it'll be very visual. Kids will like it and not even know they're really learning math in such a fun way. So. Well, we will continue to monitor your progress at Primal Math in the days ahead. Reed, thanks for being here.